Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire TV. That's what we're going to be talking about. Um, there are some prerequisites. You're going to have to have root access and a couple other things already side-loaded to your device. But I'll try to make this as easy as possible. If you've seen any of my other videos on this thing, I've shown you how to sideload apps over ADB over your network. And actually, that's how you get root access anyway, so you should understand that process. If you don't, definitely check out my other videos on the Amazon Fire TV. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into applications and we're going to go into installed. So one of the applications you're going to want to sideload or have already sideloaded, there's two of them actually you're going to want to have done. One is Chrome right here for your internet and the other one is ES File Explorer. So if you have Chrome, go ahead and open Chrome. We'll launch the application. And I'm actually already on the link that I need. So let me just restart it here. So you're going to go right here to rootjunkiesd, uh, rootjunkiesdl.com. And this is my website. And you're just going to click on Amazon Fire TV. And then you're going to scroll down here to Google Play Store Install Zip. So you're just going to click on that. That's going to have all the files you are going to need to get this set up. And then once you click on it, you'll see a little starting download. Now it looks like I downloaded this thing twice technically just because it was already on this when I opened Chrome. Um, so anyway, so that's it. You have all the files you're going to need to get the Google Play Store on your uh, device here. So from here, you just go back to home. And we'll scroll back down to settings applications because you guys know this is the way you get into anything you have side loaded and then we're going to go to Chrome, uh, ES File Explorer this time launch this application and you just go to your SD card now it looks like mine is says it's empty SD card downloads I'll go back to SD card because this is, should be where you default open up Let's see here come on there we go. Alright, so then we're just going to go ahead and go to downloads. And you should have these. There shouldn't be two, but I downloaded it twice. So we're going to just click on this one. And then we're going to click on this one. Oh, we'll go back one actually. Well, right here we can just go ahead and hit extract. And auto extract is fine. Okay, that looks very good. And um, now we're going to go back to downloads and come on SD card downloads right here there it is it's being picky for me we'll go, we'll go back to zero then I don't care eight windows at most close that window alright there we go that works Alright, so you should end up with this folder, and if you open up the folder, you should see these six APKs, which are actually applications. Alright, so from here, we got to do a couple things over here on the side. It's easier to do this with my keyboard here. So we need to go up here and say Root Explorer, and not that one, Root Explorer, and then um, this will ask you for root access if you don't already have it set up. I've already got it set up, then you're just going to go to read write and make sure that's all there, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and set that as read write. And we're gonna go back to my folder here. Close that out, here we are. Um, so everything's set as read write. The other thing we need to do under root explore is go ahead and click one key install. This is very important, otherwise you will get a notification saying that you cannot install the application because unknown sources is not set up and there's no way to set it up. But with Root Ex Explorer here, um, you can do this one key install. So you're just going to click on that and that sets up the one key install and now we don't have to worry about unknown sources blocking us from installing applications. So you're going to have to install Exposed first. So we'll just click on it. There's a little note saying it's installed and then we're going to install this one and that is installed. This is an exposed module. I'm going to save these other four for a second and we'll come back to them. So we're going to go home 
and we should have these two applications installed now so we'll go to settings applications Oops. down in here and we just scroll down to exposed there it is we'll go ahead and launch exposed and if any of you have worked with this before it's very simple you just come in here and go ahead and hit OK um, update, sorry the coloring is funky, this is just the way it is in here, so update and install, that's what you want to click on, and you should get a prompt for root access, there it is, so we're going to grant it, okay, okay, and it'll reboot your system, so we're going to let this thing reboot, and then we're going to uh, set up the module we also installed, um, what that module does is it kind of does some things in the background to hack to allow you to have the Google Play Store on an Amazon device. Okay, that's basically what it does. So as soon as this thing reboots, we'll go ahead and set that up. Okay, we rebooted. Scroll down to settings, applications, manage, and since we already installed um, that module, I don't even know where that module showed up. Did it? Was it in here? Or it should be. I don't see it right now. Let's see if it's in exposed. So we'll launch the application. Let's go to modules. There it is right there. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to check the module. There it is. And it says you need to reboot. So we'll go back. And the easiest way to reboot here is just to go into framework. Again, you can hit OK. And then right down here at the bottom, it's hard to see. It's white on white almost. Reboot and we'll do another quick reboot are you sure yes there we go and we'll reboot the system one more time and then from here we can install those other applications or APKs I would recommend having a keyboard like this wirelessly with the little pad on it in the side very nice tool when you're using the Amazon Fire TV all right, so we're going to install those last applications and then we'll do one last reboot. So we'll go to applications, manage, go to ES file browser, launch, and we'll scroll to downloads, Play Store stuff. Here they are. All right, so we're just going to click on this one. Okay, so right here. Blocking, this is what I was talking about. You can't turn it on in settings. So one more time, we're going to go in here to um, Root Explorer, one key install, and there you go. So now we can do it again. So here we go. We're going to install this one. There it's installed. We're going to install this one. There, that one. Whoop. Install failed. Hang on a sec here. Let's try that one again. That one's installed. Let's try this one. Framework. That one installed. Let's try again here. That one installed. And let's try this service uh, framework again. This install is failing. That really sucks. Um, let me see if I can uh, get this one to function for us. Hang on here. All right, guys, well, Google Play Services right here, I had some issues with installing. Um, if you find it to cause you problems, um, go ahead and uh, try to sideload it. See if you can sideload it over uh, ADB Connect uh, through from your computer over your Wi-Fi. Like I said, that's how you got root access. Try it that way. I actually, I went ahead and I went ahead and installed this right here, or just these setups like I showed you, those four applications. And then I didn't even do a reboot. Let me show you what happened here. We're going to go back into home because that was snagging me that it was saying failed. And we're going to go into applications. And here we go. So here you can see you have Google Play Store. Um, and then I actually tested to make sure I can install something. I installed Terminal Emulator. And you might even be able to uh, install that uh, Google Play services with Terminal with ADB install and the name of the application and its location. But I'm going to go ahead and launch the Google Play Store. 
just to get, uh, show you guys that boom it is functioning and then um, let's actually go look at uh, a game let's see if there's anything here you go you can see you have a whole bunch of games you can uh, pick from here um, let's just see if I can get one to install I'll do a, a pretty basic one um, we'll just do solitaire and install there we go accept and then it should be installing there it is you can see everything installed quite nicely um, and then you can go ahead and open the application and there you go so I'm not gonna sign in I'll go ahead and hit play A random deal and there you go that is the Google Play Store setup um, like I said the Google Play services is a little funky uh, I'm not sure what happened with that, why mine said failed, but if you have issues, just do an ADB sideload and uh, with ADB install and you'll be able to get that, should be able to get that installed correctly. I just try to do everything this way just so that you guys can see um, a simple way of installing this without even using your computer, which I think is uh, quite nice. So there you go. That's going to be my install here of Google Play on the Amazon Fire TV. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more videos like this. If you do lose root access, use uh, Tal Root again and you will gain it back because I think they are pushing out OTA updates, which you may want to find a way to block. I'll maybe do a video of that next. But uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.